Hey, what's up guys? I hope you're having a great day so far. Today we're gonna learn about the difference between initialization and declaration in Java. But first, if you wanna learn Java, everything you need to know, I built a full Java course that's helped a lot of people so far. So if you wanna check it out, it's in the link in the description. Let's start learning about this by going to File New Java Project. We'll call it I Like Pizza, only because I don't wanna spell out initialization versus declaration. Next, we'll call this extra cheese, completely unrelated to what we're doing today. Hit the main method and then finish. So there's actually three terms we're gonna cover today. It's initialization, declaration, and assignment. These all have to do with how you're setting up your variables. So since we're actually on the topic of pizza, and I had an extra large pizza last night, say we have a string pizza that is equal to pineapple. I don't care what you say, pineapple is amazing on pizza. End of discussion. This right here, is initialization. And I'm gonna zoom out a little bit just so we can have everything on the screen here where you have the type, the name, and the value all on one line, it's initialization. The word initial means like first. So this is the first value of this variable. We'll call this pizza one. Let's do string pizza two down here, but let's end it right there. This is declaration. We declare there is a pizza too, but we don't say what it is. There is one, but there's no value attached to it yet. And this down here, pizza two equals, let's get, let's get saucy. Let's say barbecue. And this is a barbecue pizza. This is assignment. We assign a variable to a value. A way you can remember this is that initialization is the biggest word. So it's the longest line. Then you just gotta remember these two, declaration versus assignment. For declaration, you just declare the variable name. And for assignment, you use the assignment operator and say what it's equal to. This also works the same with methods. So just like we have the main method here, I'll set up and there's code inside. You could have a method here, um, maybe like eat pizza, eat pizza and just end it with a semicolon. And this would be declaring that there is a method, which means this would be an example of declaration. The reason this doesn't work right now is because it needs a special keyword to tell Java that it doesn't have code inside. So we could click this and it would change this to abstract. And then we'd have to make this whole class abstract to let Java know that there might not be code inside some methods. But that's a little later on. You don't really need to worry about that right now. So again, just another short video. I hope this was super helpful for you out there. Let me know what you think of the new office. This is my first house, and this is what I can call my very own studio. You know what? As a special treat for sticking to the end of the video, you're gonna have a little tour with me. I'm gonna zoom out here a little bit. So this is the studio. Whoosh. This is the door you enter through, and then you come here. Whoa. That's the studio right there. I'm so excited, guys. I'm so excited. I'm gonna do so much to it. I think I'm gonna soundproof it. Have like some custom shelves. I got a little closet here. Oh, I'm so excited. Anyway, I hope you have a great day today and I'll see you in the next video.